Chief District Court Judge Francis Tidingo Gatewood denied a request to delay the trial for a couple accused of drug trafficking in a sting operation. Trial will go on as scheduled. PNC's Janela Carrera reports on what one expert witness may testify to. The couple, Raymond Martinez and Juanita Kitigua Moser, is scheduled to go on trial in February. And despite their defense counsel seeking a delay, citing the sudden unavailability of two expert witnesses until April, trial will proceed as scheduled. Meantime, it's not clear if Moser has returned from the Philippines following knee surgery. Last month, Moser was permitted to travel to Manila for surgery, but was ordered to post a $100,000 bond and to return within a few days of trial. The defense requested the delay, noting that two expert witnesses who are expected to poke holes at the criminal investigation and into the prosecution's key witness have prior commitments until April. The first is Michael Levine, an expert in drug investigations that involve sting operations. The second witness is Kyle Hyen, who was recently hired to replace another witness who had passed away last month. Chief Judge Francis Tidinko Gatewood has already provided numerous continuances of the trial date at the request of the defendants. Therefore, she denied the request for continuance, further stating that the defendants should have been proactive in ensuring that they are prepared to proceed to trial. At their trial, Levine is expected to testify about his independent investigation of the sting operation the prosecution is anticipated to use against the defendants. Levine says he has extensive background in sting operations and drug cases, and in reviewing the case file for the defendants, he found not just discrepancies, but misconduct that rises to the level of criminal activity. Martinez and Moser were the subject of a 2015 sting operation in Torrance, California, in which they were pulled over and allegedly found with eight pounds of methamphetamine. The law enforcement officers from both Guam and California were acting on a tip from former Customs Lieutenant Henry Alvandia, who at the time had just been indicted in a conspiracy case to smuggle contraband from the Philippines. But Levine says the entire investigation into the couple was filled with holes and was improperly handled. He also says evidence in the case supports the conclusion that the law enforcement agents and Alvandia were in collusion to lure Martinez and Moser into engaging in a fictitious drug smuggling scheme that was, quote, the the invention of both the informant and his law enforcement handlers, end quote. Essentially, Levine concludes there was a conspiracy to create a crime rather than to deter a crime. Levine believes this was all one big scheme to provide Alvin Dia the opportunity to become an informant in a major drug bust in exchange for lighter penalties. The evidence Levine found says the conduct, quote, rises to the level of warranting either a criminal investigation of law enforcement officers handling the sting operation and or disciplinary proceedings within their respective departments or agencies, end quote. And that was Janela Carrera reporting. You can read Levine's statement at PacificNewsCenter.com.